What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on this Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to install the latest OnePlus 7's Oxygen OS on this device. So let's get started. The files you need will be linked in the description box below so do not worry about those. Let me show you the files over here. This is the OnePlus 7 Pro like Oxygen OS zip file, the flashable ROM zip file. Let me just start it from here and if you don't know how to install the TWRP and Pi firmware, the link will be like listed in the description box below how to flash those TWRP and stuff. And this ROM is based on Pi firmware. I have been waiting for the Pi firmware Oxygen OS. So yeah, let's get started and you can also install the OnePlus 5T's Oxygen OS 2 on this Redmi Note 5 Pro. The link for that will be listed in the description box below too. And the flashing procedure will be similar to this. So once you have installed the like TWRP and stuff, the Pi firmware supported TWRP from the cards like right here. Once you have installed from like watching that video, just follow this video. Right now I'm on the Resurrection Remix ROM, so I'll just move to the Oxygen OS. So first of all, I have downloaded the ROM files and stuff. So let me just like reboot to recovery. So as we are booted into the TWRP recovery, let me tell you that you need to back up everything from your device whenever like you are doing this and you are doing it on your own risk. I'm not guaranteeing you anything. So make sure your important files are totally backed up on your PC or something. So as you have done that already, I'm guessing. Now you need to go to wipe, then advanced wipe, then select Dalvik, cache, data, system and vendor and just swipe to wipe. Once that's done, go home, go to install. You need to make sure your like TWRP storage is totally like decrypted. As you can see from here, I can see my internal storage and stuff over here. So make sure your storage is decrypted. Then let me just install this zip file only. I'm not gonna install the fix as of right now. You may or may not need it. So I'll test it without the fix. So I'll just like flash the ROM file. Right now I'm not flashing this fix. I'm just gonna flash this like OxygenOS ROM file zip. So on the first try, I will definitely recommend you flashing only the zip file, the ROM zip file and like rebooting and see if it's working or not. So right now, just swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. So as you can see, currently the flashing is done and I'll just tap on the reboot system and swipe to reboot. So here, as you can see, we have the awesome boot animation. So we are successfully booted into the system. Currently, let me just set up the ROM. So it's successfully connected to my Wi-Fi. So yeah, Wi-Fi is working. So I have to put my fingerprint. Let's see. It shows the fingerprint in this display because like the OnePlus 7 has the fingerprint scanner on the display. So we have to <laughs> test it right now. So as you can see, I'm tapping the fingerprint scanner on the rear side. This is actually funny that it is actually working over here. So here it shows we have some gesture options, turn off flashlight and stuff by drawing V. I don't know if it will work, but I'll just turn on this double tap to wake and stuff. And we'll see that if it actually works or not. We have some screen calibration options. As you can see, I'll just set it to vivid and like Continue. Let's set the font to Roboto and like move in. We have a really good looking wallpaper over here. I gotta say. So right now the brightness looks pretty fine. Let me just turn it a little bit down. And as you can see, we have some kind of like square looking quick toggles over here. You can add more quick toggles, I think from here, as you can see. Let me go back and like jump into the settings. Do I see lag? Nope. The UI feels pretty smooth. First impressions by the way. And over here if I go into the about phone and as you can see it shows over here that we have a Snapdragon 855 which is totally false. All the specs and stuff will be wrong because this just shows the OnePlus 7 specs. And from here you can see interestingly the device name is OnePlus 7 Pro and Oxygen OS over here, 9511. And Android version is still Android Pi, of course. Let me go back. And the stock kernel is the Kangaroo kernel over here. And security patch is latest August 1st, 2019. And I would say, yes, I will be using this ROM for a couple of days now. 
and see like if there are any problems or not let me place a call and show you guys if the wall calling actually works so looks like no the Valdi calling is actually not working let me switch to the mobile data again do i have to enable Valdi manually or something so here in day one i am facing bugs on oxygen OS, of course let me just like reboot the phone once and see if the Valdi actually works or not so yeah the fingerprint scanner as you just saw it does work so as you can see if i put my finger on the fingerprint scanner it wakes up the device now if i put my finger again then only it unlocks so that is how it is i think currently seems like it's not powering on by itself so i have to like tap and hold the power button i think a reboot bug is still there so let me place the call again and as you can see it can't simply like place the call over here right now so faulty calls already not working over here let's test the cameras so the rear camera does work and the video let me show you yes the video should be working too and even the front camera yes the front camera is working too over here uh, like with the stock camera and google camera is there i think no this is the miui camera surprising so miui camera is there and should be working fine portrait mode and stuff is there miui camera is there by default over here that is good so yeah that is how it is and if like the Valdi calling is simply not working so i think i won't be able to use this rom as my daily driver my primary sim card isn't it i don't know what do i need to do over here Valdi is enabled from the settings but it simply is not working this is how the stock launcher looks like and if i go into the wallpaper we have bunch of wallpapers over here as you can see a lot of wallpaper options are present over here let me set it to something else like this one as you can see still looks dope and we have the never settle widget and stuff over here play store should be opening fine and yeah as you can see play store is opening fine let's open chrome so it seems like this like browsing and stuff everything is working fine over here let's go into the settings and we should be having the display settings and stuff fine and night mode is there reading mode is there resolution option is there we have qhd fhd etc options like oneplus 7 pro we have the theme option changing to light dark etc and we also have the status bar customization like the battery bar style or something like that battery style then we have the battery percentage and like network speed indicator and icon manager is there so that you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons we have the buttons and gestures so quick gestures are there too and three finger screenshot gesture should be working fine as you can see it does work so pretty good i would say and double tap to wake is there i don't know if it will actually work let me test it if the v works nope double tap yeah double tap to wake actually does work and we have the navigation gestures too so yeah as you can see the navigation gestures does work the animations looks really good the one bummer i would say i feel over here is the vaulty is not simply working i'll just like enable the airplane mode and like disable it one more time to see if the vaulty works i really need vaulty like to daily drive i would say so no nope, vaulty seems to be not working over here so yeah guess i'll just try to flash the oneplus 5t's rom or something like that right now and from this point i'll just like fast forward this stuff i'll just follow the same like procedure of flashing roms as i do normally so i selected the oneplus 5t's rom file and i just like swipe to confirm flash and before that i just wipe the data cache dalvik and the system and vendor so it's done like previous i'll just like reboot system and it still shows no is installed so i'll just swipe to reboot and by the way this oneplus 5t is oxygen OS is based on android pi 2 right now and yes i have been waiting for the android pi based oxygen OS roms and here i am flashing these roms back to back so it has successfully booted the oneplus 5t is rom successfully booted and surprisingly i do see the vaulty logo already up top 
So I think I will be able to use this as my daily driver. Let's see. And let me just like quickly set up the ROM. So while setting up, we see this add face data or let's try face unlock option. So when I tap on this add face data, it simply does not work. So I'll just keep, let me add another finger. So it is done, I think. So right now it's showing me to like set up some gestures. I'll just like tap on this turn on flashlight gesture and double tap to wake gesture. And we'll see if it works. And here we have some screen calibration colors and we have the sRGB, DCP, DCI-P3, adaptive mode, custom colors. And I'll just put it to default option over here. Now let's like go with the Roboto font by default. And here, as you can see, we have the amazing looking wallpaper and it's showing me to enable location information and stuff. Let me just increase the brightness a little bit. Let me just quickly go into the settings. I gotta say, it still looks like the OnePlus 7's like Oxygen OS over here. Let me go into the about phone and here it shows that we have Snapdragon 636. So this time it's correct. And here we have the OnePlus 5T like device name and Oxygen OS version is 9.0.2 stable Oxygen OS and inside Android version you will see that Android version still is 9 Pi. Let me just quickly go back and the stock kernel is Kangaroo X kernel release 4.9 I think and here the security patch is latest August 1st 2019 not yet September though. That's it for the about section and inside system we have the OTG storage and stuff. Then we have the system updater option. I don't know how it will work. And we have the language and input stuff. And Gboard is default keyboard over here. You can see. And the buttons and gestures are there. So let me just show you. Swipe fingerprint for notification. I don't know if it will work. Nope, it does not work actually. The quick gestures, let me see the three finger screenshot gesture. So yep, it is working fine over here. And we have the answer calls by gesture and stuff and we have the draw things stuff over here let me go back from here and we have the nav bar gestures let me select this navigation gesture and let's just swipe and as you can see the navigation gestures are working fine i think over here so yep one plus navigation gestures are working fine and let me show you some more settings over here and this is how the app drawer looks like by default i'm just like restoring my google app data backup and by default you do get the like one plus camera over here let me show you if it works so looks like it doesn't does it i don't understand what is this so nope one plus camera sh like looks like it's not working as you can see, it just four stopping shows unknown error. Maybe we can fix it later, but let me see the MIUI camera. Yes, MIUI camera is present by default over here too. And yep, the MIUI camera is working fine actually. Holy smokes. Let me switch to the front camera. And yes, the MIUI camera is actually working fine. So that is great. Let's go home. Let's open Play Store. Yep, Play Store is working fine. Like, yeah. Play Store is working fine and let's open Chrome and try to open a website like a random one. So as you can see, websites are opening fine with Wi-Fi. Let me see by pressing a call. So yep, looks like Volte calls are working fine now. So yeah, I'll be using this OnePlus 5T's ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro since the like oneplus 7 ROM is not simply working on volte so yep this is gonna be my daily driver and i'll definitely try to make a review on this rom and by the way the quick setting toggles looks like this the square kind of look over here and you can add more toggles if you want from here of course inside sound we have the also vibrate for calls then we have the vibrate intensity by default i would say the vibration is pretty decent it's not bad at all and inside display, we have the night mode and stuff. Let me see if it's working. Yep, night mode works. It makes the display yellowish. App dips display in full screen and stuff. Everything is there. 
and we have the accent color and stuff and theme you can change it to colorful light dark etc and inside status bar we have the battery style changing option to battery bar battery circle battery hidden and stuff then we have the show battery percentage display network speed is there and you can have the like icon manager the status bar icons option over here and screen saver option and stuff is there you can also change the font to oneplus late so yeah this is pretty great that like this oneplus 5t's oxygen os is actually working fine and that is how you can install the oxygen os on the redmi note 5 pro even when you are on pi firmware and i'll definitely recommend you guys flashing this oneplus 5t's oxygen os for the redmi note 5 pro i'll put the link for this oneplus 5s and oneplus 7s both but i will definitely recommend you guys flashing the oneplus 5s oxygen os on the redmi note 5 pro as of right now at least so from now on i'll test it more for a couple of days like one or two days then i'll try to make a full review about this rom and how smooth this rom is thank you so much for watching this long video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.